Let me out. Hello. I didn't think I saw you, thick-ass. What upstairs? Hello. I need this down so hard. Dead hard? Didn't dead hard. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You. Right there. So not only I'm trying to keep my excitement at a fucking minimum. Because the dredge is here. And not only I did it. Yo. I haven't played the PTB. I didn't watch any content. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I watched some content. Live. I was going, I'm about to go to bed. And I was like, damn. I'm getting so much fucking anxiety. Because I genuinely have no idea what this character does. Because I've yet to watch any content. Even when the PTB was on about this character. Because I kind of wanted to be surprised. And I, uh, I'm genuinely surprised. Not only is this character's map pressure absolutely fucking godlike. Well, it depends. This character is so... It's so weird because I've gotten so many fucking locker pulls and I'm not sure if they're doing that shit on purpose because they want to get caught by this absolutely majestic creature. Or people are genuinely going into lockers because they're shitting their fucking pants. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Not only am I genuinely confused, take off this goddamn mask. Look at this beautiful ass creature. Alright, put that shit back on because I'm genuinely confused every time I see your face. So not only is the dredge's map pressure sick, I know why you're here. And I know you got snacks and I know you got food. So we can't let that shit get cold. Men, women, children of all ages. <sighs> we're either gonna break our fucking face, or we're gonna make some sick ass fucking plays. But nonetheless, he. Is it a he, she? It's ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into the teachables. Already got. So the dredge is rocking a 4.6 movement speed, which is 115% movement speed, with a 32 meter tear radius and. He's absolutely fucking humongous. I think he might be a tiny bit shorter than Nemesis, just because of the slouch. But definitely, you can see him from a fucking... You can see the Dredge from absolutely a mile away. But then the Dredge's power, Reign of Darkness. So if I were to read all this, it'd be like I'm actually reading a goddamn dictionary. So if you guys do want to pause, definitely pause right here. But long story short, the Dredge can teleport to lockers and create a stationary clone of himself that he can teleport back to kind of like spirits uh one add-on that allows her to phase or uh when she's mid phase allow her to go back to wherever she began to phase kind of like that and not only that he has kind of i'm gonna call it like a passive ability called nightfall so nightfall is basically how do I explain that? I might actually have to fucking read that so nightfall you have to build up nightfall by doing stuff around the survivor so example like Hitting a survivor, downing a survivor, hooking a survivor, pulling a survivor out of a locker. Anything that affects survivors is going to be able to build up Nightfall. And once Nightfall is fully built up, you gain the undetectable status effect. And then you go full on fucking steroid mode. Now which I, what I mean by that is once Nightfall activates, you can teleport to lockers ridiculously fast. And the cooldown of your ability when you teleport and exit a locker is reduced by a fucking shit ton, which will allow you to keep TPing like a goddamn steroid maniac. It's ridiculously insane. Nightfall is really where the dredge shines, and anything, any add-ons that affect Nightfall, like increases the duration or allows it to get it, uh, allows you to get Nightfall faster, is going to be extremely detrimental to the dredge's success because he heavily relies on TPing, and since survivors can, you know, since your cooldown kind of sucks dick. Nightfall is really where the dredge shines. But onto the dredge's first teachable perk, Dissolution. Three seconds after injuring a survivor by any means, Dissolution activates for 12 seconds. While Dissolution is active, if a survivor fast falls over a pallet inside of your terror radius, the entity will break the pallet at the end of the vault, and Dissolution deactivates. So not only, on paper this perk absolutely seems godlike, I've actually yet to test this out, but on paper this perk is actually pretty i don't know if you'd want to use it at high mr it doesn't really seem too useful i think it depends this seems like a very very situational perk and it's weird right because the majority of teachables like two teachable perks that the dredge has are fucking absolutely terrible on him but on other characters it can be actually ridiculously godlike so if i think of this a one through ten day one just reading it on paper i'd probably get this like a six only because this seems very such i think once i play around with it i'll get a better understanding of this perk but i feel like 
this perk is very very situational would be more useful on characters that rely on a mouse one and save the best for last at high mmr so if you're running save the best for last at high mmr with a mouse one character like if you use this on maybe like sadako or like probably clown clown would be really good with this actually with this solution i'd probably give this a seven because it's not a bad perk and it's definitely not an okay perk this perk definitely has a ton of potential but since it is day one I think this perk is pretty fucking dope. But then the Dredge's second teachable perk, Darkness Revealed. So this is this is definitely one of the best perks, probably one of his best teachables in his entire fucking kit. And this perk was definitely made specifically for this beautiful creature. So when you search a locker, the ores of all survivors within 8 meters of any lockers are revealed to you for 3 seconds. And this perk has a 30 second cooldown, which is insane. 30 seconds to get that fucking vision. This perk on the Dread, this is, if I had to give this a 1 through 10, it's, uh, I'd probably give it an 8. I would give it a 9 because, uh, I had, the only reason why I give it an 8 is because I feel like there's specific characters that will do very well with this perk. This perk is kind of like a, kind of like a situation, not a situational perk, but like a character dependent perk. If you're playing a highly mobile character, this perk is going to be godlike. But if you're playing a character that doesn't really have that much mobility, this perk isn't going to be as useful unless you're rocking a stealth killer then i can see this perk kind of being actually fucking dope but darkness revealed definitely one of the best teachables in his entire kit and with high mobility characters this perk can actually put in some work stealth killers and high mobility characters they're they're gonna fucking shred with this perk but then the dredge's last teachable perk septic touch and they better not fucking touch me whenever a survivor performs the healing action within your tear radius that survivor suffers from the blindness and exhausted status effect for 6 seconds. So the, the effects linger for 6 seconds after a healing action is interrupted by any means. So this is definitely one of the weaker teachables in his entire kit. I don't see a situation at high M uh, MMR that you would want to use this perk. I can't, I'm trying to think of a situation in my brain. But this is definitely a perk that you're going to have to synchronize with other perks. So like, um... I mean, you could rock this with Calrophobia, but I don't see... I don't want to waste two perk slots on something that just makes them exhausted when you have character abilities that make them exhausted by themselves, so... I mean, I guess if you're rocking a character that... Maybe like a stealth killer that doesn't really have anything for Dead Hard, for example, like Sadako, you could rock it on her, but this is definitely one of the weaker perks in his kit. This is day one, but if I had... I'm definitely gonna have to play around with this perk. I don't know... If I had to give it a 1 through 10 right now, I'd probably give it a 4 because it's not a terrible perk. But the problem with this perk is that you're going to have to probably synchronize this perk with maybe two other perks to actually make this perk viable at high MMR. So, Septic Touch, they're touching you. So, I mean, I guess you got that. But other than that, it doesn't seem... Compared to his two other teachable perks, it doesn't even come close. But other than that, his three teachable perks are actually somewhat godlike, except for, you know, the touchy one. But other than that, two godlike teachables. I think it's about time we get into the perks. Alrighty guys, now this is what we're rocking. We even have spilled for a nice dredge. So I would take off that mask in just to see his beautiful ass face. But this is probably the best build that we're going to have on the day one of the patch. Hopefully tomorrow I get better perks so I can try out this one build that I really want to try. But this build... Is gonna have to do for right now because we are actually fucking broke. But our first perk, Darkness Revealed. So at T3, you guys already know what this does, but at T3, when you search a locker, the ores of all survivors within 8 meters of any lockers are revealed to you for instead of 3 seconds, 5 seconds. So not only getting that extra 2 seconds of vision, that can actually be ridiculously clutch to give us a general idea and better understanding of where they're going. But this perk is still at a 30 second cooldown, which is absolutely godlike. And hopefully with this perk, not only are we going to be able to make fucking locker prediction pools, but if they decide to disrespect us and go into a locker without our permission, we're getting that fat ass pool. But then our next perk, Scorch Hook Pain Resonance. So going to give us vision, uh, vision and information. I'm actually surprised I got the T3 version of Scorch Hook Pain Resonance right off the fucking bat. It was like it was fucking made to be. But going to give us 15%. Going to be our main guaranteed regression tool since we don't have pop goes a weasel but gonna give us that instant 15 percent regression on any gen that has the most progress and you guys already know we got that fat ass map pressure 
So Scorch of Pain Resonance, once we put somebody on a hook, we're immediately TPing and immediately getting into another chase. But then our next perk, Hex Ruin. Get us something that in the early game and allows us to build early game momentum and probably get destroyed in the first three minutes of the match. So depending on the spawn, I actually can't remember the last time I actually used Hex Ruin in a video. It's been so fucking long since Hex Totem perks are kind of doggy poop right now. So Hex Ruin, gonna last the first three minutes of the match. Hopefully enough time for us to build early game momentum and get at least one to two Scorchlight Pain Resonance procs. But Hex Ruin, gonna help us build that early game momentum, create a secondary objective, and hopefully creates a distraction from these guys actually doing gens. Pro probably not, but... Then our last perk, Surveillance. So the one perk that I really do want to rock on the dredge is Discordance. I feel like Discordance would definitely be a much better perk than Surveillance, but Surveillance not only going to give us vision and information and paired up with Hex Ruin in the early game, going to give us a fuck ton of information and let us know pretty much what gen they hop off, or what gen they hop back on. And not only that, we find out and we can predict, not only can we insta TP and immediately get into another chase, but this paired up with Scorch of Pain Resonance, not only going to give us pretty much more information, but dude. If they decide to hop back on that gen, we're TPing instantly. But then our add-ons, Broken Doll. So I actually played around with the add-ons a bit, because it was so, there's, I feel like the Dredge definitely has a fuck ton of good add-ons, but this is one of the, my favorite setups so far. It's probably going to change tomorrow. But our first add-on, Broken Doll increases the duration of Nightfall by 20 seconds. So not only is it going to increase the duration of Nightfall from 60 to 80 seconds, we're gonna have 80 seconds. We're pretty much gonna have a minute and 20 seconds of absolute fucking chaos. And if we can build momentum while Nightfall is up and create some sick ass mind games and pretty much insta TP, early game momentum is gonna be key because if we can get a Nightfall early, that means they're not gonna be worrying about Hex Ruin. Which means that secondary objective, not only is it gonna be a waste of time, but as long as Nightfall's up, we're gonna be able to insta TP and instantly be able to get those fat ass downs. But then our next add-on, what the fuck is that? What the hell is that word? Mouthinker's Skull! Yo, that was fucking weird. I'm Hello? Increases Nightfall charge speed by 66% while any survivor is injured. So basically increases our charge speed by 66% for anything that we do. So whether it's injuring a survivor, pulling a survivor, hooking a survivor, using our ability to traverse the map through lockers, if they're injured, that Nightfall meter is going to build 66% faster. That, this add-on is definitely one of the best add-ons I think so far in his, in his entire fucking kit, or its entire kit. It, it's baby mode, Dredge. This add-on is absolutely one of the keys to the Dredge's success because it consistently allows you to keep on getting Nightfall at a consistent rate, and the more you get Nightfall, the more it's going to be fucking chaotic and an absolute fucking nightmare for survivors. Now Thinker Skull, is one of the best add-ons in his entire kit, definitely. But nonetheless, you guys know what time it is. Dredge, I know you're ready. They're ready. They want to take some- What the tits? What the fuck was that? <laughs> this, is, this is already getting weird. This is my first conversation with you, Dredge, and you're already fucking acting weird. That was strange. Let's do this. You're ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into this shit. Garden of Joy! The withered aisle, 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 right? My fucking grammar. All right, let's do this. The new map too. Uh, I've only got to play the new map a handful of times with the Drudge too, and I know they spawn on my top left and my top right. Two spawn on my left and then one spawn on my right. All right, let's get vision. Hello. No, I'm not on the shin. All right, give me vision and give me tell. Where's everybody at? Yeah, so they have to be playing the right side super duper hard next to the shack. Yeah, they are right there. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, I see a thick ass. There's two of them. What the fuck? I see three of them. Three for the price. Of Didn't miss a drop. Mind games. It's a drop. Didn't miss a drop. She's playing that hard. She was waiting for the stun. Uh, I can actually mind. I'm gonna try to mind game roll this. Actually, I don't need to. I can just mouse one but ass. They didn't go for it. That was smart. One more time. 
No. Must want that ass. I need to keep practicing this uh, these mind games. She's winning another power. Hello, love. It's a drop. Dead hard? No, dead hard. Ooh, this shit was a little unpredictable. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Get up. Uh, bubblegum flesh? Another bubblegum flesh. Holy shit. Uh, our school tricks are really. The one problem I have with this map is that the fucking hooks are. You have to travel across the globe to get to these hooks. Our right, bubblegum flesh. Get a more compared to person death. Oh. Hello. Hello, your worst nightmares come to life. This guy go behind me. Do I really want to take this loop? Hello, maybe I do. Where are you gonna go? It's gonna hold forward on that ass. There's no pouts over here either. There's a window there though. He's gonna take the window again. Nah, disabled. Yeah, actually, I might take it again. Hold up. Disabled it. Let's fucking go. Not on that ass. Made him think twice about that, dude. Holy shit, that was tough. Should have went to that locker. I was thinking about it. Dead up. No dead hard. Wow, so two no dead hard. I'm surprised. Get up, casino flush. I need another scorcher pain resonance proc before they gen rush me. God, this guy's gonna gen rush really, really hard. Get him all compared to the person to casino flush. Yeah, they did hop back on. And let the nightmare begin. Oh my god, this team. The locker. This guy's on my right. Hurts footsteps. Actually, you know what? It's a TP. Lock this one still. Hello! Hmm. There you go. What the fuck? The insta heal? The disrespect? What the fuck? Beach flush? There's a window here. I'll take that pallet instead. Go for the window. It's a drop. I'll take that shit. Get the shit out of the way. It's a really good fucking pallet. What's on my left and what's on my right? Oh my god, that flashlight stone was a long time. It's a TP. Wow, they insta lock this too. Interesting. Wow, so these guys are playing lockers hard. Uh, what do I want to do here? It's a TP. I got two on this gen. Oh, I got three on this gen. Three for the price of 12? I fucking take it. Let's see if we can loop. That's the bubblegum flush again. Should I just... Fuck it, I'm going to chase the bubblegum flush again. Insta drop. Nope. Mouse won that ass. Oh my god, is that tree stump? What are you gonna do? You don't have dead orb. Hello! Mm -hmm. She's still gonna try to go for the flashlight save. Juke juke? Alright, beach flush. You were not going. Hello! She didn't go for the insta save. We're waiting for me. It's a drop. And then she's gonna go for the save. Oh. Still mouse one that ass. That chick doesn't have a flashlight either. Oh, dead hard. Get up, beach flush. Where's our school chokes? Uh, they're so out of the way. I have runes down too. Get him up compared to price of death. I know casino flush is on this gen as well. You guys gen rushing? Our gen rushing. Hop off. What the fuck? Bubble gun flush with disrespect. Are you taking this again? Not gonna take me on this again. My games. Oh, I would have had her too. What the fuck? Oh, wait, she might be dead. Hold up. If you don't have dead, or you're dead. Yeah, she's dead. Oh my gosh, she made a fucking huge mistake. Well, yo, I actually predicted that window, but she was being really indecisive with it. Oh, fuck me. I'm gonna have to put him down in the basement. I think Casino Flush is probably gen rushing that gen too. I'm in a really fucking tough spot right now. Get him all compared to the price of death. Surveillance this gen. I really need to use my school trick, but they're so out of the way. I need to break this pallet. Break this shit. Oh. It was. Break this shit. Oh. Yo, I like that little tippy tap. You are not waiting for me. No! Not swung that ass. Holy shit, I needed that. Break the shit. Oh. Didn't gen tap that. I'll take this chase. Mm, 
my lockers are so out of the way. I'm gonna have to mind game this chick hard. What are you gonna do? Mm, I want the TP. Hello? They have that hard. And I'll take that file too. Break the shit. Oh. Let me out. Hello, hello, hello. The gen rush of a century? Our casino flush. I need to get this down now or I'm gonna lose this game. Window. You don't get that again, though. You going for it again? It is going for it again. I'll take that. You nightmares come to life. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Hello, love! Is it powered over here either? Gonna dead hard for it? Ah! Did dead hard for it! Fucking got him! Flashlight save? Did he go for the flashlight save? Fuck, I'm in a really tough spot. Yeah, my swords are turned such a bad spot, and they finished that gen. Get him open for the price of death! Oh, I gotta build momentum upstairs. I'm 100% gonna have to build momentum upstairs. I don't know how we're gonna come back from this. Vision. Let me out! Hello! I didn't think I saw you, thick ass! Run upstairs. Hello! I need this down so hard! Dead hard? Dead and dead hard! Oh my god, I'm gonna get a Scorcher Pain Resonance proc! What gen they're on? Bro, this is so fucking insane! This is one gen stand off of a century! Get him all compared to the price of death! Was on that gen. What the fuck? Ninja Flesh! I know the Claudette's over there as well. Fuck. Claudette was over here! I can zone! Ah, uh, what do I want to do here? There's a powder. Wow, she insta-dropped! Wait, that guy killed- Wait, who killed- That guy killed himself! I can zone right here! Holy shit! Break the shit! Oh. Holy shit, I'm in a good spot. Ah, uh, Ninja Flush. I'm gonna go for the Ninja Flush instead. I'm gonna mouse one the Ninja- Ah, uh, should I? No. TP. They didn't lock the doors and you let me in. Oh, I almost got a pool too. Your number hasn't even came to life yet. Mm, I need to get this down. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, she's holding forward on that ass. Oh, there's no pouts over here either. You're in a fucking dead zone. Dead zone? What am I playing? Smite? Let's fucking go. Kill confirmed. Holy shit, dude. Get up, bubblegum flesh. Am I going to be able to... Uh, where are my hooks? I am, I am going to be able to get a Scorcher Pain Resonance proc. That one's closer, but... I know what gen they're on, too. Uh, I, wait, no, they're not working on that gen. They're working on mid gen? Get him, Oka, for the price of death! No, not working on mid gen. Yo, the comeback of a century with no fucking pop goes a weasel? Break the shit. Break the chains. Give me vision and give me death. Yeah, so they have to be in mid. They're working on mid gen. No, they're not working on mid gen. They are working on mid gen. Hello, 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 beach flesh! My games. She didn't fall for it. Oh, she did fall for it. Into drop. I want to try something. Hold up. I want to see what she does. Hello. I'll take that. Alright, so this chick is a little bit predictable. Wait, no, wait. Hold up. She's back on that gen. Ah. Uh, if I take this chase, hold up. He didn't lock the doors, though. So let me in. Hello, Ninja Flesh. Bro, did they not really hear me? Hold up. I'm gonna be able to instant TP too, right? The shit. Oh my god, double jab? Double jab the gem? Where you going? I see you. He did jump down. You gonna let me in? Or is your nightmare gonna come to life? That's a safe fella. Oh, did go. Whoa, you did fall for it. I still get that mouse one. Yo, I cannot believe that guy thought that was indecisive as hell. Holy shit, I did not think that guy- You are not looking. What the hell, Spider-Man? You gonna go for the save? Nah, she's not gonna go for the save. Get up, Ninja Flush. This game's over. Bro, that guy was being so indecisive. I thought that- Wait, is she behind me? Where'd this shit go? Oh, hello, hello, hello! 
Dead on. Is she dead on? I think she's dead on the opposite way. No! Oh! oh my god, that was a frame fucking away! Holy shit! Bro, this chick was fucking... We're breaking each other's necks, hello? Yo, I actually genuinely cannot believe we fucking came back in that match. That was insane. This game's over. And our gen placement was so fucking bad, especially now without Poplar's Weasel. Holy fuck. Bro, my heart is like beating right now. Break the shit. Yo, I can't wait till I get a good perk set up with this character. It's gonna be so fucking fun. Merciless killer. Oh my god, I'm definitely losing my voice today for sure. 100% <laughs> losing my voice today. Did we get a perfect game? AK, AK. Oh, we almost got a perfect game. What's everybody using? So, one dead hard, two dead hearts. One spine chill. Unbreakable. I wonder if they can spine chill you when you're in the locker. Bro, time. Yeah, so we weren't rocking anything too crazy. I wonder if that works. Spine chilling uh, when you're in the locker. Holy fuck, I want a sandwich. You go destroyed. Oh, I forgot the Mori! Oh, shit! You go destroyed. And you failed. We'll get him next time. Alright guys, before I end this video, check out this Mori. Alrighty guys, well that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really freaking appreciate it. If you like this video, please like and sub. And don't forget to hit that notification button to get notified when I upload. Bro, my voice is actually shot. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to get notified whenever I do upload. I usually post it on there. But dude, I'm hungry. My voice is destroyed. But it was worth it because this gameplay was absolutely fucking sick. I cannot believe we made that big of a fucking comeback without the perks that we needed. We had Scorcher Pain Residence, but... That, I feel like surveillance was doing half of the fucking work for us because Torture Pain Residence, our hooks were in such shitty spots. Bro, I cannot wait to get a sick ass build with this character. But nonetheless, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys. I probably won't be uploading tomorrow since my voice actually has been like feeling really, really shitty. So I'm going to give my, uh, my voice a day break. And when we come back, you know, damn well, we're going to have a nice ass build. But nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, and good night.